Shortly after the sun rises in Kampala, Uganda, hands are busy at work, cooking, caring for children, and making the beads that are lifting families out of extreme poverty. Every Bead for Life bead is rolled by hand by a Ugandan woman, making each bead and each piece of jewelry totally unique. It is hard to believe that these beautiful beads are made of recycled paper. Beaters get most of the supplies for their items at the local market. Women look for colorful paper from old calendars, posters, and print overruns. They scrutinize each page to determine which will make the most striking beads. Achan Grace is an excellent beater. First, Grace traces long triangles onto a piece of paper, then carefully cuts the paper. The length and width of the triangle will determine if the bead is long and slender or thick and chunky. Once she has the strips of paper, Grace starts rolling them into tight circles, starting from the large end of the triangle and rolling towards the tip. Some beaters roll the paper around a pin to ensure an even opening. Grace takes great care to ensure that each bead is symmetrical and has a gentle curve. She puts a drop of glue on the tip of the triangle to secure the bead. Once Grace has rolled several hundred beads, she will string them together and apply sealant. Each bead has two layers of sealant to make it water resistant and glossy. The beads are then hung to dry in the warm Ugandan sun. Grace then takes the finished beads and begins to create the final product. She must pair the paper beads with small glass beads of various colors to create gorgeous and vibrant combinations. Although each bead only takes 10 to 15 seconds to roll, the entire process, from start to finish, can take over a week. In that time, a woman can make dozens of items. Before joining Bead for Life, many of the women were unemployed Others worked in a rock quarry, crushing rocks by hand in the hot sun and earning less than a dollar a day. Now, women are able to roll beads at home or in the company of friends and are earning five to seven times what they did before. Oh, these are beautiful, Mary. I'm going to take them all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we hope you can feel in each item the hands of the woman who created it. All of our necklaces, bracelets, and earrings bear the hopes, dreams, and appreciation of the Ugandan woman who rolled each bead with her own hands. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah. <laughs>